Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, all sorts of shenanigans were happening on this here train, both in the past and slightly less past. Uh, do I have to explain everything myself or can we talk to Maximus to get a little bit of recapping action? Hmm. The elves do have a well-documented thing for toys. And where does a person keep toys? Strewn all over the floor? Yeah, that's true. My bedroom was quite a mess when I was little. Swiping our toy chest while our back was turned right from under our nose. They'll get what's coming to them. An extreme wedgie at the very least. Okay, okay. How long till we get there, Samoth? From the looks of things, I'd say we're passing the Denmark Strait. How long till we get there, Samoth? Looks like we're near the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. How long till we get there, Samoth? I think I see the Caribbean up ahead. Where is this train going? How long till we get there, Samoth? We're almost past the North Sea, unless I miss my guess. I think you're missing several guesses. So we're looking for the Devil's Toy Box, which Samoth and Maximus, uh, or Maximus have recently procured. I can talk. It was stolen, and we're trying to find out who stole it. Maybe the toy box is stashed behind all this luggage. Possibly. Let's start unloading. This is a different pile of luggage than the one before. Nope, not there. What's that? It's nothing. There is nothing of importance here. Oh well, how about we head to the caboose? Nice caboose. <laughs> uh, I was hoping we could actually go into it. Nice caboose. Or at least look at it. Oh well. So let's see if we can figure anything else out with the elves. And baby Amelia Earhart. Hey, baby Amelia Earhart. I. She's napping. Solid little thing. So you're the type that would barge in on a girl and interrupt her nap time, eh? Can't say I'm surprised. What can I do for your fellows? You nap to right of the Valkyries? Always have. Puts me out like a light. Shows you how different people are. I always fall asleep to the tears of a clown. Poor old Chuckles. I think his shackles are too tight. All right, game saved. We accomplished a thing. What else we got in here? We got a couple of dolls. Um, can we make her fall back asleep? Funny how right of the Valkyries puts her right out. It would have been nice to know that back when it was useful. You don't say. Well, in that case, we will definitely be going back to an earlier reel to take advantage of that knowledge. Say, baby Amelia Earhart. Uh huh. We've got a big surprise for you, baby Amelia Earhart. You have been chosen to participate in a market research project. Uh huh. What's the catch? No catch. Just go next door with that nice vampire elf. Or he'll give you a brand new toy to play with. Not interested. Far too busy. What do I look like to you fellows? A child? Yes. Flight of the Valkyries. That's an unusual kind of lullaby. I'm an unusual kind of kid. Come on, baby Amelia Earhart, be a sport. All you have to do is go play with a toy for a few minutes. You go play with it. I've got more important things to do. So even though we got her awake, it's not good enough just that we have her awake. We actually have to convince her to go see the toy that the elves are making. Got your own compartment now, eh? Going legit? I can afford to, thanks to our old friend Sam and Mark. Gold-plated scarabs are fetching a nice price on the commodities market these days. Are we going to witness us acquiring those on a previous reel? Somebody went and stole our toy box. 
You mean the toy box you stole from the tomb of Sam and Ma? Where's the decency? Well, search me, boys. I'm clean. Be a good girl. Woman. Good woman. Hmm. Well, we, Bye, baby. we could go ahead and take care of that little detail now in the other past, but let's see if we can figure anything out with the mysterious person we saw walking away when our toy box was stolen. By the way, these chains, uh, the, this 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 chain of events is kind of confusing. Having to play it a little out of order in order to figure out how to have it play in order, or something like that. See, even my uh, me, even my, I, I'm confusing. What's this? Pringles room service train. Oh. Christmas Eve. Sounds like Kringle. What do you want? I'm busy in here. Open up. This is the police. The train police? No, the untrained police. Go away. Who is it now? Can I interest you in a subscription to Thievery for Seniors? Go away! <laughs> Who is it now? We're collecting for the Save the Reindeer Fund. Have you got any old clothing, weaponry, or toy boxes? Go away! Who is it now? Hand it over, Kringle. That toy box is ours. We stole it fair and square! I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Now scram, before I call the conductor and have you confined to the lunatic car. There's a lunatic car? That does sound fun. Who is it now? Room service. For the love of Blitzen, it's about damn time. Now hold on a minute. You two. We need to get us some milk, I'm betting. Unless we can put cookies on here. Pringle likes cookies. Huh. Who is it now? Room service. For the love of Blinton, it's about damn time. Now hold on a minute. So was this before he got the reindeer, or is he referring to them? You two. Maybe we shouldn't actually be standing in front of the door. Who is it now? Room service. For the love of Blinton, it's about damn time. Now hold on a minute. Let's walk this way. Nope, that is not the solution. Pringles room service train. Well, we obviously need to put the cookies there because I can't pick them back up. Although I still have them, so that's a thing. Can we get some milk? jerk who got Maximus and me stuck on the wall back in the tomb of Samun Mac. Please, this is ancient history. Let go. Move on. Was, was that Jurgen? Well, apparently it was because his time card is on here. Or not time card, his uh, regular card.
nobody home. Garlic crosses and wolf Spain. What do you make of that, little buddy? Jesus pesto? Huh. Me thinks somebody's trying to ward off vampires. <sighs> Don't say me thinks, Sameth. Huh. Well, I did notice that he was not pale. Are we going to turn him into a vampire? Me thinks somebody's trying to ward off vampires. That steamer trunk looks exactly like ours. And I thought we were on the cutting edge of steamer trunk chic. Doesn't appear to be locked. Well, no. This is all. How kind of you to drop in on my humble home away from home, yeah? So sorry you could not stay for the aperitifs. If you'll excuse me. Moles. He's visiting moles. So are we in a time limit then? Nobody home. Huh. Our compartment didn't come with a weird occult shrine in the closet. This must be the deluxe suite. That cephalopod has a familiar face. It's the guy from the tomb! Looks like he's lost weight. Why is that important? Now to get a good look inside this trunk. Not so fast, Libsham. He's definitely not a vampire because he's got buck teeth instead of fangs. If only we could keep him out of that room. Man, we got so much stuff to do. I'm starting to lose track. So, maybe before we continue onward this way, let's do the one thing we know how to do. Oh, this is after they got the can of nuts! Of course! When did we get this, I wonder? Actually, it's very important and useful information to know that we have these now. But we'll, we'll use this information later. Should we go back to the earlier reel or skip ahead to the next one? Let's go to the reel number two because now we know about that song. Let's Keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut. Don't say a word. Open up, I say. We gotta hide. Okay, I wonder how we're gonna hide. Um, and there was something else on my mind. I forget what it was though. So uh, let's hide. I'm coming in. A little privacy, please. Can't you see he's not decent? We run a clean train here, understand? Now, you have tickets or don't you? Ouch! Dang time limit. Should we try another reel? No. Get back in there and hide in the closet or something. We won't fit in there. Oh crap, where do we fit then? That'd never hide us. Wait, 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 wait. This is after we have this. I'm coming in. Huh. Could have swore there was somebody gabbing in here. Huh. Nobody here. Reckon I were wrong. That was a close call. Lucky for us, we played that tour in Gutter Demeron. We sure put one over on that sap of a conductor, didn't we, partners? Partners? For the last time, kid, you're not joining our outfit. Nonsense! This is just the beginning! We've got an endless series of marvelous adventures ahead of us! One endless series of marvelous adventures later. <laughs> uh, we don't get to see them, huh? No 
fanfare. We'll find it's not so easy to impress these Egyptian types with your magic act, little buddy. These jokers ingest sorcery with their mother's milk. Speaking of which, it looks like we finally managed to lose that pesky baby Amelia Earhart. By George, you're right. That was a clever move, pointing her at that mirage and telling her it was an oasis. <laughs> little kids are so trusting. Now, let's get down to the business at hand. We've got to find the Devil's Toy Box before it's scooped up by some disreputable Tomb Raiders. More disreputable than us, you mean? Look for a hidden passageway leading to an endless labyrinth. No doubt we'll encounter a dizzying array of fiendish death traps, but if we keep our wits about us... Found it! About time. Well, that was easy. Which way is the jacuzzi? I want to freshen up before dinner. It's hard to believe we're really in Egypt. I thought it would be sunnier. Who knew compressing into a can of nuts would be such a useful power? Next time we do it, Samoth, try to keep your feet out of my face. Hmm. Whee! Anyone for calamari? It's probably not as simple as actually just walking up there. But we can try it anyway. Especially since a cutscene got triggered. Stop quaking with girlish timidity, Maximus. It isn't that. It's my psychic aura. It's acting up again, Samoth. Something within that toy box is calling out to me. Buddy, it could be a fake. Well, well, what have we here? Tomb Raiders? Oh my. We haven't had a good raiding in nigh under 50 years. Now just sit tight for a minute. We're afraid you caught us with our trousers down, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, haven't bothered to reset the security system in, oh, I don't know how long. Uh, now then. Protection spell looks to be in order. <laughs> there, that ought to do the trick. Nothing beats a good old fashioned protection spell. <laughs> Now don't touch that toy box if you value your hide. All right. We already got the toy from it. You think it's safe to touch it now? Ah, fudge. I was hoping these two would put up some kind of challenge. I don't think that's the way the story is supposed to end. Let's back it up and try it again. <laughs> yeah, because that's totally how that works. Actually, hmm. I've had dreams like that before. Where it's like, you know, this isn't going well. Let me back up and try this part again. Oh yeah, we should check out this dummy. Possibly. There goes my arm! I must have that dummy! Was that a- Yes, little buddy. It looks like you got your ass. And it's a big ask, too. Just had to make things complicated, didn't you, game? Well, now I can finally look at the stuff over here. This big ugly guy seems to be very taken with the little gold guy. Maybe to an unhealthy degree. That security spell is what's keeping us from nabbing the Devil's Toy Box. That's the idea, Sonny. Did I cast that protection spell or didn't I? Hmm, can't remember. Well, no harm in giving it another shot. Does it work like a switch? Are you about to turn it off? No, you're turning it on again.
Why are you turning it on again? There must be something important about that. Oh, we can't follow that guy, I take it. There's something trying to trigger over here. What is it? Sconce. Oh, I guess we can go in there. What about up here? Psst. Huh? Over here! You are mounting the devil's toy box, yeah? I can help you, but you must help me first. Okay. This this story just keeps getting more and more interesting. Who who did this to you? The moles. They are completely verrucked. Especially the old one. At first he played the kindly grandfather, but then without warning he turned on me like the vicious wild beast and cursed me with bad luck. I tried to flee, but the way out was blocked by a nasty mole woman with a cheesy accent. She threw another curse at me. In my confusion, I blundered into a tripwire and poof! Curse number three! Only here I am. So you haven't turned into a vampire yet, but as soon as you get out of there, that curse is surely going to take- Oh, that's why he has all those vampire stuff, anti-vampire, the garlic, because he's trying to prevent himself from turning into a vampire. How do European gent like yourself wind up on a two-dimensional surface like this? I am but a poor student of the antiquities. I came to Egypt in order to make sketches of the tomb decorations. Little did I expect I would become a tomb decoration myself. What's that like? What's your problem? Bad accent? No, I have been confined on this accursed wall for decades. You must free me. Bitter? I suppose it would be pretty boring, actually. What do we need to do to get you down from there? Do you see the bust of Samun Mark? There's a secret clasp underneath it. Release the clasp, and I am released from the wall, your grateful servant. Okay, but we kind of already know that you're going to turn on us. I mean, we'll eventually get out of the situation, but... Well, like, I guess we don't technically know that yet. How do we get to the bust? That is the good question. It is a good question, isn't it? You know how to break the spell of protection over the toy box? Naturally. During my long confinement here, I have had much opportunity to study the mole magic. Then why can't you undo your own curse? Alas, I have the limited mobility up here. You undo my spell, I'll help undo yours. Hang tight. I'm good at that. <laughs> oh yeah, I haven't I haven't moved this yet. So that has opened up access to multiple areas. Well, let's check it out. Dimension. Oh, blessed relief! <laughs> I'm free! And you're not. So sorry. Got to run. <laughs> Wait, you said you'd help us land the devil's toy box. Do not be silly. What would a couple of bar reliefs want with a toy box? Just. Oh. This is what happens then. Well, it's a good opportunity to possibly go over there. Infidels! Vipers! 
You have removed the sacred bust of Samon Mac. For your sins, you must remain on this wall. Okay, fair enough. Uh, for how long? For eternity! <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, for reals, there's gotta be some way around this stuck on the wall for eternity, who, huh? Well... Shh. Yeah? Come on. Well, we have to let you off if you can answer the riddle of this fox. Which no one ever has. Let's hear the riddle. <sighs> All right. You who raid the Pharaoh's tomb, much deserving of your doom. If you want to save your hide, tell us what the gods deride. Hmm, what the gods deride? Hmm. Obviously this one. To cut the cucumber lengthwise? <laughs> Boy, that's a good one! <laughs> It never gets old, does it? We're free! And we've still got the bust of Salmon Mac. Again! That was easy. Honestly, I didn't expect that to be the correct answer, but... I'm actually kind of bummed, actually. I, I wanted to try out all the other options. There were a lot of them. Uh, it's just as well, though. I'm out of time. We need to end this stream. So, next time we will go ahead and continue our quest here in the tomb, as well as our quest in the train, as well as our quest in the elf place, as well as the quest at the stage. I mean, we got four quests playing all at the same time. Well, we're going to continue all of them and make some good progress. Already we've made some good progress. I'm kind of impressed. There's been a lot going on just in this first stream of Chapter 2. And next time, there's going to be a whole lot more going on. And I will see you then. Thank you guys for watching.